striding in is Brian Anderson. He'll get us started in this Leading one off under the lights. Miami, the third baseman, Brian Anderson. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Underway in our nation's capital as the first pitch is looked at for ball one. One and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. And this one runs a little too far in ball two. And not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Popped up. Scherzer will do this himself and that's the first out. So bases are empty with one gone and up next will be the big catcher Jorge Alfaro and he fouls this one off. And a pitch up and in keeping him honest one and one. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. First offering on its way. The first baseman. Jesus Aguilar is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. And he will make the catch. Just <laughs> Leading off the inning, it'll be Miguel Rojas. And they could use a spark from him here. Nope. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1 and 0. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2 and 0. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. The 2 1. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. The 2 2 one more time. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That is good. The second base. John Birdie John. comes on with one gone here as he Birdie. looks at a called strike one. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. The center field. Lewis Brinson is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry. Five pitches. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. And stepping in, Jesus Sanchez. As we are all set to begin the, right the third field. inning in this one. Jesus Sanchez. First pitch on its way. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. This one skied out toward right. Number 88 is there and he'll bring this one in. Next to hit is Magnaris Sierra. The left field of the 34. Magnari. First Sierra. offering. And a fastball is in there for strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Grounded back up the middle, scooped up. On to first, and Scherzer's on a roll now, two away. So here now is the pitcher, Trevor Rogers. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. First offering on its way. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's ball one. A ball and two strikes to the Marlins pitcher. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone. But we'll have to press pause as that strike. Riding in now for the Nats, Max Leading Scherzer, up, as we move on to the bottom no of pitcher. inning number three. Max. Swing and a miss Scherzer. on the slider, nothing in one. Hit hard on the ground to second, he's got it. And there's one down now. First pitch of the A.B. now. Brian Anderson is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Fastball called for strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Brian Anderson goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. One ball, one strike to count. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Jesus Aguilar will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Now the first pitch. Miguel Rojas stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Softly hit out to short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Next to hit, John Birdie. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Up top, it's 2-0. fouled off. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. Ball even at two and two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Now batting. Up next for Miami, Lewis, Lewis Brinson. He went down Brinson. on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Counts even at one and one, one to Lewis Brinson. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up. So here is Jesus Sanchez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Here comes Scherzer on 0-2. One ball, two strikes, down. Struck him out. The 10th victim sat down on strike.